Hello my beautiful Libras and cross watchers. Welcome to your November 2019 reading. Guys, I'm so excited. We're going to be announcing the winners at the end of this reading. Okay, so Libra, if you're currently subscribed to my channel, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple subscribers every month for a uh, for free readings. I give away tarot cards and oracle cards. Winners are always announced on the monthly readings. So please be sure to click that notification bell so you know for when those post. Um, I am taking personal readings. It is $5 off your first 15 minute reading with me and $10 off your first 30 minute reading with me. Okay. Um, my information is in the description box below, or you could go to my website, www.thetaroflight.com. Okay. Now, uh, the deck we're using today is the Lulin Tarot deck and it is number 70 in the description box below. Guys, I'm so sorry. Hold on one moment. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so we are going to um, do a quick shuffle here on camera, and then I'm going to go over the messages that I picked up on your pre-shuffle, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Libras, please, for November 2019? What love messages, what clarity and guidance do we have for my Libras, please, November 2019, please, Spirit? What messages do we have for my Libras, please, Spirit? November 2019. So, guys, you have quite a month in November. Um, so, I'm definitely seeing here uh, some possible reconciliation, a completely brand new beginning in love, money, abundance, prosperity. Um, I mean, I just like you guys are sitting beautiful guys. I mean, just beautiful for some of you. You may be finding out that you're pregnant, um, but there's a catch. Always a catch guys. Um, this is only going to come if you make the right decision. Okay. You guys are going to have some type of decision that needs to be made. If you make the right decision, if you make the right decision, you have a lot of beautiful prosperity coming to you. If you guys don't make the right decision, you're going to experience tremendous loss. Okay, that is the case for the month of November. So what that decision is, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in your life. We're going to see if we can find some answers for you. But ultimately, um, I, I see that, you know, you guys are definitely at a crossroads and you have to make a decision about something or someone or a situation. Um, this is a love reading, but for some of you, it may even apply to work. Who knows? Okay. Uh, but all I can tell you is, I mean, if you make the right decision, my God is going to be like winning the jackpot. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So let's see here what we can figure out about this decision. So we are starting here with the tower guys. Okay. So again, something is going to be coming in and really shaking things up for you. Okay. Something is going to come in. Oh, 10 of swords under the deck and the tower. Fantastical. Okay. So something is definitely coming in to shake things up for you, Libra. Okay. Really like hardcore. Okay. We have the devil card here. All right. So this could be, um, you found out someone was cheating on you. You're cheating on somebody else. Jealousy, sexual passion. I mean, somebody's just going to come in and really rock your world, okay? I mean, normally the tower is um, something ending, something falling, and then you wanting to build a firmer foundation, okay? And I feel that maybe recently in the past that has happened. For some of you, it may still need to happen. And as you're building this tower, as you're building this firmer foundation, I feel that something is going to come in and knock you off your feet. Seriously, okay? We've got the Chariot card, Cancerian energy, and we've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces energy. So someone is going to be coming in as you're sitting here putting your bricks together and trying to repair this tower moment in your life. Someone is coming in and blowing you off your feet. Sexual passion, obsession, just, oh my gosh. Like, I mean, this person is crazy about you. With the Two of Wands, though, there's your decision. There's your decision, okay? So... This person may live far from you and want you to move towards them. 
um, this person, uh, you know, you may just have to simply make the decision of, wait a minute, I'm over here trying to fix my life. Do I really want to jump into, um, you know, a new relationship right now? Or maybe you haven't left your person yet. Okay. And you need to make that decision. Um, with the high priestess here though, I am seeing that, you know, this person is absolutely infatuated with you. They see you as just spiritual, beautiful, abundant, mysterious. Okay. This is also an indicator that this person may be a secret. Okay, with the page of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, this person and the page of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, this person may have uh, an age difference. Okay, so some of you that might be holding you back. There's too much of an age difference. I'm not sure if I want to do this or not. Okay, but this person is coming in with an offer. They're coming in with passion. Okay, the problem here is Libra that I'm feeling that for some of you, you're still in a relationship. So this could be initially, this may start as someone that, you know, you might be cheating with or vice versa, okay? This may start off as a third-party situation and you have to leave. You have to leave somebody behind to move towards this King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, okay? So guys, you have a lot to think about with the Four of Swords. You really have some thinking to do here, okay? With the Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy here, you guys are feeling confident. You guys are feeling secure. You guys are feeling sexy. You guys are just feeling very outgoing and happy. And with the Three of Pentacles, I feel that this is because you have been working on yourself. And because you have been focusing on you and what you want, this wheel is turning in your favor, guys. Okay? And as I always say, that Wheel of Fortune, when that wheel starts turning, it will cause massive upheaval. You will get things that will come into your life and totally catch you like you know blindside you smack you right in the face like hello i'm here like whoa it wasn't anywhere you know i know i was manifesting a soulmate or i know i was manifesting some you know a really hot passionate sexual encounter or whatever i know i was manifesting all these things i didn't expect you to be here now i'm not ready you know what i'm saying but you're working on yourself, you're focusing on yourself, your thoughts are right, your thoughts are positive, and because of that, we have this beautiful Ten of Cups situation coming in here, okay? We've got your your real person, the person that you're meant to be with coming in here, okay? We've got the Page of Swords. This person has been keeping their eye on you, okay? They have been keeping their eye on you. Um, with the Five of Pentacles here, they may be left out in the cold. They may feel a loss here. They may have withdrawn because, you know what I'm saying? Um, you, you're not paying attention to anybody but yourself right now, okay? Or you're getting an awakening right now that you have to lose somebody. You have to withdraw somebody. You have to leave somebody out in the cold. This may be the decision that you have to make, Libra. You might be getting this message of truth in because the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy is all about a message of truth, an awakening. Um, it is also an, our, you know, you know, stalker card. It is also, um, you know, someone watching you on social media. So someone here could be like watching you from the sidelines, feeling withdrawn and left out because, you know, you're focusing on yourself and you're not paying attention to them. But overall, I really am feeling that this is the decision that this is that, that two of wands, that decision, because you got to move towards somebody and leave someone like flat out on the cold. Okay. We've got the hermit card here. It could be, we could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay. Um, me a second here i thought i saw yeah we've got the queen of wands the king of wands here i mean this is a suited pair this is a soulmate connection we've got the king of wands coming in leo sagittarius aries energy i mean this person is on fire okay financially stable peaceful happy i mean this person is like the real deal, okay? And with the Seven of Wands and the Fool, I feel that you're going to have to really overcome some challenges here, Libra, to go ahead and take this leap of faith and start this new beginning in your life. You have a real decision to make here. Do I really want to put something to death here and take that leap of faith and go towards this Ten of Cups, okay? We have the universe here. So as I said, prayers being answered, things that you've manifested coming to fruition, causing a third party situation, causing a third party situation, causing this Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy to come in with an offer. And this is the night that you want, guys. The Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, this is stability, love, loyalty. This is the real deal, okay? This is the real deal. This is a knight that wants to turn into a king for you. 
Yeah, this is the knight that wants to make you a wife, a mother. This is the knight that wants to marry you. We've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here, okay? This is the knight that wants to be real stability with you, okay? The question is, are you going to leave the bullshit behind and go towards your wish fulfillment? Are you going to go towards it? Are you going to take action? Are you going to move towards it? Or are you going to sit around holding your head crying in bed like, what the hell am I going to do? You know, that's the question. You're looking at right now at how much you've invested into your current relationship and you're wondering if you, you know, pick up and leave and run towards this new beginning, this new lover, this new person that's come into your life, is it going to be successful? You know, am I going to lose? Oh, Libra, what a dilemma. I told you. I told you. I saw it in the pre-shuffle. It's, you know what I'm saying, you're really worried because maybe you've invested a lot in your current partnership, Libra, and if you walk away and this new partnership isn't successful, you're going to really regret walking away, okay? But I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I really feel that if you make the right choice, you're going to be very, very happy. Ugh. All right, guys, I'm going to take it into an extended. Let's see. Um, we're going to do a whole nother tarot reading on who you're going to choose, what path you're going to take, and we'll pull some uh, oracle cards here to see um, if we can get you some clarity and guidance, okay? So, guys, if this resonated, please be sure to like. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to enter a chance to win. Let's announce the winners for October. Drum roll, please. Okay, so we have Andre Yayo, Y-A-O, won a 15-minute reading. Cass Love 111 won a 15 minute reading. Tina Knoll, K N O L L, won a 15 minute reading. Guys, I did not uh, give away tower or oracle card. Ugh, I can't speak oracle cards this week because, as you can see from the backdrop here, I'm not home. I'm at my mom's house in New York. Shout out to the five boroughs, okay? Um, I'm at my mom's house because I have a lot of personal things going on. Um, so I didn't get a chance to do that. Hopefully by next month I'll be settled and we'll do the tarot and oracle card giveaways again. Okay. The link to the extended will be in the description box below. If you'd like to book me for a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. $10 off your first 30 minute reading, $5 off your, um, your first 15 minute reading. Take care guys. Love you. Bye.